Lesson 1.6, multiply by one-digit numbers with regrouping. We can use place value and regrouping to multiply by one-digit numbers. We start by multiplying the ones, then the tens, and so on. We add the regrouped amount. We multiply five times three ones, that's 15 ones, so we can regroup a 10 to the tens place and write the five down here. Now we have five times two tens. Five times two is 10 plus one more is 11. That's 11 tens. See how we multiplied these and then added the regrouped amount? That's 115. We first learned how to do this in fourth grade math back in video 2.10, which I'll link in the description if you need it. So we need to multiply 362 times five. Step one, the first thing we do is multiply the ones place and regroup if needed. We have five times two, that's 10. We regroup the one and write the zero down here. Next step, we multiply the tens, add any regrouped ones and regroup again if needed. So we're multiplying five times six for the tens. Five times six is 30 plus that one is 31. So we're gonna regroup the three and write the one down here. Now, we're going to multiply 5 times the hundreds place. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 more is 18. We have 1,810. We multiply and then add any regrouped number. And we learned how to multiply 3 and 4 digit numbers by a 1 digit number back in 4th grade in 2.11, and I'll have that linked in the description also. And if you're a regular subscriber, you've probably seen me teach this before. Remember, we can turn a lined sheet of paper sideways to keep our place value straight. That way we know we're putting the correct number into the correct place value. You can try this. We also learned back in fourth grade, video 2.4, how we can round to estimate a product. So we can estimate a product first, then we'll know if our calculations are correct. We round to the greatest place value, and that number that we round to is determined by the digit to its right. So the greatest place value is hundreds. We're going to be rounding to this place value. The digit to its right is going to determine what it's going to do. So this 9 is going to tell the 4 what to do. If it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, it's going to tell the digit to the left, this one, to stay the same. And then it becomes zeros with all the other ones. If it's a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it tells the digit to its left to go up by one, then it and the rest become zeros. So this nine falls in this category. It's gonna tell the four to go up by one. Four says okay. It becomes a five. And then the nine and the seven become zeros because their job's done. We learned in the last video, which of course is linked in the description, that we can multiply the basic facts of 5 times 6 and just add two zeros. And 5 times 6 is 30, with two zeros is 3,000. So we know our estimate for 497 times 6 is 3,000. So we know we should have a product close to 3,000 for the answer to be reasonable. We multiply 6 times seven ones, that's 42 ones. We write the two in the ones place. We regroup the four tens to the tens place. Now we multiply six times nine tens, that's equal to 54 tens, but we need to add the four regrouped tens. 54 tens plus four tens is 58 tens. We write the eight, regroup the five to the hundreds place. Now we multiply six times four hundreds. That's 24 hundreds. We add the five regrouped hundreds. That's 29 hundreds. And we estimated the product to be 3,000. 2,982 is close to 3,000. So our calculations are reasonable and make sense. When we multiply, we begin with the least place value so we can add any regrouped numbers to the products in greater place values. We saw that 497 times 6 is equal to 2,982. 
if we had worked this problem starting with the greatest place value, we would have had six times four hundreds. That would have been 24 hundreds, not 29 hundreds. When we went to multiply six times nine tens, we already wrote 24 hundreds in the product, but we still need to add the regrouped five hundreds. We can't. We already wrote a 24 here. We would have to erase. So starting with the ones, we can easily add regrouped amounts to the next place value. So that wouldn't be a 4, would it? It would be a 9. So we don't start here, okay? We would start with the ones place. 6 times 7 is 42. We would regroup the 4, write the 2. 6 times 9 is 54, plus 4 is 58. We would write an 8. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 is 29. We get our 2,982. Start with the ones place. We can multiply one digit by any multi-digit number by regrouping to the next greater place value. We could even multiply into the quadrillions. Here we have 2,518,367. We would just regroup to the next greater place value and write our amounts down here into the product just as we did when we were multiplying one digit to two digits, three digits, four digits. We would start with the ones place. 5 times 7 is 35. We regroup the 3, put the 5 down. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 3 more is 33. We regroup the 3, put the other 3 down. 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17, 18. Regroup the 1, put the 8 down. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 1 more is 41. Regroup the 4, put the 1 down. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 more is 9. Put a 9 here. Don't need to regroup. 5 times 5 is 25. We regroup the 2, put the 5 down. Now we've got 5 times 2 million. That's 10, 11, 12 million. Put in our commas. We have 12,591,835. It doesn't matter how big the number is, we just keep multiplying to that next greater place value, regrouping if we have to, then adding the regrouping when we go to the next place value. Mr. Lee sold 2,950 apples every month. How many apples did he sell in four months? So we think we need to find 2,950 times four. We can make an estimate so we know if our answer will be reasonable. The 9 tells the 2 to go up to a 3, then they all become zeros. We multiply 4 times 3,000. That's the basic fact 4 times 3, which is 12, with 3 zeros. So our estimate is 12,000, and a reasonable answer will be around 12,000. So let's multiply. We start with the ones place. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. We regroup the 2, put the 0 down. 4 times 9 is 36, 37, 38. We regroup the 3, put the 8 down. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11. We get 11,800, and we're not done until we label it, apples. 11,800 apples. Now we're going to have to do a little detective work on these next few problems. You should have the multiplication facts to 12 memorized by now. And we can use reasoning to solve for an unknown number. If you look at this equation, we're missing a digit from the tens place in the product. If we start working on the product starting in the ones place, we have 9 times 1. That's 9. Well, that's right. Then we do 9 times 7 tens. 9 times 7 is 63. We would have to regroup a 6 and write a 3 down here. We ask ourselves, what is 9 times 7 tens? So let's finish the problem and see if it makes sense. Now we have 9 times 2 hundreds. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 6 more. That's 24. Yes, that makes sense. The answer is 2,439. We know a 3 was missing. 
Now look at this one. We have a digit missing in the ones place and a di couple of digits missing here in the product. So the hint is, is there a multiple of seven that has a five in its ones place? Because there's a five down here in the ones place. We need seven times some number that has a five in the ones place. We write the multiples of seven. We look through them and look. 35 has a five in the ones place. It's the only one I see. Seven times nine is 63. This can't be more than a nine because then it would be 10, it would have two digits. It has to only be one digit. So it has to be seven times nine or less. So it must be seven times five. And if that's seven times five, which is 35, we need to regroup the three to the tens place. Now we have seven times six, which is 42, 43, 44, 45. We regroup the four and put the five down. Now we multiply seven times 100. Seven times one is seven, plus four more is 11. That would be 11 hundreds. We can regroup one up here and write the other one down here. Now we multiply seven times four thousands. Seven times four is 28, plus one more is 29. That must be 29 for 29,000. Our product is 29,155. We know the missing digit up here in the factor was a five. Now look at this one. This factor has a digit missing in the tens place and we have a digit missing in the product in the ones place. And we think, what is regrouped if working forward or backward? So let's start working forward first, starting in the ones place. Eight times two ones is 16 ones. That means we must need to regroup a one and write a six in the missing digit for the product. Now we have eight times some number plus a one is gonna put a five down here. Hmm, so let's work backwards. Let's start with eight times 6,000. Eight times 6,000 is equal to 48,000, but they've got a 54 here. So what was added to the 48 to make it a 54? We need to find the difference. 54 minus 48 is a six, there must have been a six regrouped up here to do eight times six is 48 plus six more makes 54. So we know a six must be up there. Now working backwards still, we have eight times eight. We know that's 64, but look, they wrote 66. It should be 64 hundreds. So what was added to the 64 hundreds to make it 66 hundreds? The difference between 66 and 64 is two. So there must have been a two regrouped up here that they added. Let's try it. Eight times eight is 64, 65, 66. Regroup the six and put the six down. Yeah, that makes sense. So now we have a two and a five. We have a 25 in this place here for 25 tens. That means eight times some number plus one more made a 25. Think of our eight facts. Well, eight times three is 24. If we put a three there, that's 24 plus one more is 25. We'd regroup the two, put the five down. Yes, that makes sense. Our missing digit in the tens place for the factor was a three, and our missing digit in the ones place for the product was a six. We had to solve this one going in both directions. We had to start going this way to figure it out and then start going this way to figure out what could have been regrouped to make the next regrouping and product, partial product. Here we have a word problem involving a table with information. It says ticket prices, adult $79, children $59, so that's each, and a senior is $69. It says, using the table, what would it cost for a family with two adults, three children, and two seniors? So we think, we need to multiply each ticket price by the number of people, then add the products for a total price. An adult is $79. We have two of them. We can estimate 79 would round to 80. $80 times two is $160. Child is $59, we have three of them. 
We can round this to 60. $60 times 3 is $180. We have two seniors. We can round the $69 to $70. That would be $140. We add the $160, the $180, the $140, and our estimate is $480. Now we can multiply the $79 times two adults. We do 2 times 9, that's 18. We regroup the 1, put the 8 down. Then we do 2 times 7 tens. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. That's $158 for the adults. For the children, we have a $59 ticket, but we have 3 children. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 5 is 15, 16, 17. So the children would be $177. Now we have two seniors at $69 a piece. We do 2 times 9, that's 18. And 2 times 6 is 12, 13, that's $138. We add the 158, the 177, and the 138. And that comes out to $473 which is very close to our estimate of $480, so our answer is reasonable. It makes sense. We had to multiply the number of people by the amount of the tickets, then total them to get the price for the entire family. Bob walks his dog four times each day. How many times will he walk his dog in one year? We think we need to multiply four times the number of days in one year. One year is equal to 365 days. That's not if it's a leap year. We have 365 days times four walks each day. We multiply four times five, which is 20. We regroup the two, write the zero. We do four times six is 24, 25, 26. We write the two. As a regrouping, we put the 6 down here. We do 4 times 3 is 12, 13, 14. That's 1,460 walks each year. So how many times will he walk his dog in 5 years? We think we know the answer for 1 year. We can multiply that number by 5 for the 5 years. This is 4 walks a day for 1 year. If we were to do it for five years, we'd have 1,460 times five. We start with the ones place. Five times zero is zero. Five times six is 30. We regroup the three, put the zero down. Five times four is 20, plus three more is 23. Five times one is five, six, seven. In five years, that would be 7,300 walks for his dog. So one of the most important things you need to remember from this video is when you're regrouping and then multiplying the next greater place value, we multiply and then we add the regrouped number, okay? So we would do 6 times 5, which is 30, plus 1, which gives us 31. Then we would do 5 times 3, which is 15, plus 3, that gave us 18, okay? So remember, we not grouping them together to make one big multiplication problem. We're multiplying and then adding that regrouping. In our next lesson 1.7, we're going to multiply with two-digit numbers to multi-digit numbers. I hope you have a really great day and enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.